I really appreciate it. So I'll respect the time. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a last minute guest. Thank you again, Mr. Walters. I appreciate it. If I could take that. I want to thank him especially. I mean, his commitment to what I'm doing with Mass Resistance. That's the name of the, the group that I'm now working with. By the way, I'm a, I'm a good friend of Agnes. We have fought many good fights together, and we've won those fights, and we're going to win some more. Um, I was the president of the Beach Cities Republicans in Los Angeles County. She was one of my featured guests at that club, and that was probably one of the largest attended meetings. Even the Los Angeles Times was there um, to report on that. So just want to bring that up to everybody's attention. I have fought the legal immigration fight, but the other fight that I have been very um, concerned about has been this whole LGBT agenda. This is an issue that really scares even conservatives. They don't want to touch this, so they're so afraid of the bigotry card, they're so afraid of the smear card, and frankly, I'm fed up with it. You need to know, not just with this indoctrination going on in our schools, in Canada, in a Western country, we have a man who faces two criminal trials, and a class action lawsuit for passing out gospel tracts in a gay pride parade. That's just north of us, folks. In this state, they wanted to pass a bill to ban the Bible, AB 2943. All the other pro-family establishment groups gave up on the legislature, and they were hoping to beg Governor Brown to veto it. Our group is different. We are the true pro-family mass resistance. My president, Brian Kamaker, has been fighting the pro-family fight for 25 years. We're not exactly the most liked gang on the block, but we win the fights. We stopped the bill. Evan Lowe pulled it at the last minute. We had groups up and down the state, I'm sure Mr. John Walt, Paul White was one of them, calling key assembly members. We knew who to call, and they backed off. Mr. Lowe has gotten four more visits from me and his constituents in Santa Clara County, the same county where Trump supporters were attacked in the streets. We run to the fight, and we win the fights, and we have about a week and a half left before the deadline for bill introduction comes, and Mr. Lowe has not introduced the reparative therapy ban. So that's another marker. The successes we have are because things have not happened. Now, another success right here in the heart of Orange County, Shonda Lobatos. She is a mama bear. And the tranny agenda that they were shoving into Anaheim Elementary School District is horrific. They had a book teaching children about Harvey Milk, as if he is some kind of a poster boy or model, a pederast. And it was because of Ms. Lovatos and parents that she's working with in the district exposed this agenda expose the librarian putting all of these so-called welcome schools, safe zone signs, etc. Laura Cantor, the head of the OC LGBT Center, who publishes all kinds of filth against the president, and she's allowed to be around children, I don't know why, we scared her off and we ran her out of the school board meeting in October. They had some of the most abusive, aggressive LGBT activists there and we scared them off. The school was forced to admit that they were implementing AB 329, which even the governor had vetoed. They were trying to do it under the, under the rug, so to speak. They're targeting these majority minority communities because many of them don't speak English as a first language. It is horrific, it's racist, and we are calling out this abusive LGBT lobby, and we won. In Anaheim, and I can't thank you enough, Mr. Walters, for publishing this. Please take a copy of this with you. Now, everywhere I go, I'm interested in recruiting, not just reporting. I have my clipboard at the back on a red clip holder. I need every one of you, please sign up to get our newsletter. Sign up to help join the fight. We fought back and won in Anaheim, just as Mr. Wagner is fighting back to, get, to keep the Board of Supervisors in your hands, and just as Agnes has been fighting back so that we have a secure border and a secure country. And I want to wrap this up. Viktor Orban is a true national champion, loves Donald Trump. He's the prime minister for Hungary. And I make a point that he has been leading on in his own country. We must build a wall along our border, but we have to build a wall around our culture. Because Constantinople had the thickest walls imaginable. And that's an empire that crumbled from within. If we don't fight for the family, there will be nothing to fight for. This is an essential fight, and we have taken down 
the bullies who try to smear us. We've even shut down the STL smear card that, they, that the newspapers love to publish. We have forced newspapers to retract them, which is a stunning victory too. Let's fight this fight. Let's make male and female great again. Let's make marriage great again. Let's make mom and dad great again. Thank you for your time. Call me Jody Kessler. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we uh, appreciate your.